Hi there. My name is Aaron Landerman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. Many chips have multiple copies of the same kind of electronic element in the same package, and sometimes you don't need to use all of those copies. Maybe you have a dual op amp and you only need to use one of them. And if you can get a certain op amp in the dual version, you might as well get the dual version because they're usually not any more expensive than the single version. Or maybe you have a quad op amp and you only need to use three of those. Now, for some parts, the best thing to do with unused devices is to just leave them disconnected. But for other devices, you want to handle it in a particular way, and the data sheet should tell you what to do. So I was checking out this exponential VCO circuit from All About Circuits, and overall it seems like a reasonable design. But then I came across this. They've grounded both inputs to the op amp, and it's operating in open loop mode. So the output is going to saturate all the way towards one of the power rails or the other power rail, based on minor variations of input currents and random fluctuations and other weirdness. So what should you do? I often find it's a good idea to ask Texas Instruments. So the thing you want to do is to set up the op amp so that it's a voltage follower that's following ground. Now that assumes you have a bipolar power supply. If you have a single-sided supply like the zero to five volts in the tangible waves modular format, or the zero to nine volts often used by guitar pedals. Then you don't want the input to the follower to be ground. That's going to saturate your amplifier. For the single supply case, the TI app note says to set the input to the follower to be a voltage halfway between your power rails. Now you don't necessarily have to use a separate set of resistors for each op amp package you have. You're probably already generating this reference voltage elsewhere in your circuit, and you could just use it wherever you need it. Going a little deeper, this TI app note on the 324 and the 358 suggests putting a 10K resistor in series with the positive input in those turn off the op amp configurations. I'll leave it to you to explore this question further. I will say that my instincts tell me that this business of adding a resistor is something only meaningful for op amps with BJT inputs. I can't imagine how this would work if you have JFET or MOSFET inputs. That's just a guess, though. If you have any thoughts on this, please leave a comment below. I should also mention that setting up the op amp as a voltage follower really only works if the op amp is unity gain stable. Otherwise, you would want to include a voltage divider in the feedback loop in order to make sure that the gain was in the stable region. That said, op amp chips that aren't unity gain stable are kind of weird, and I don't recall seeing them in the wild in audio applications. If you know of such applications, let me know in the comments below.